Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. I'm Parker, and in today's video, we'll be talking about how to set up attribute-based pricing in Salesforce Cloud. We'll dive into how this powerful feature can revolutionize your pricing strategy. Attribute-based pricing allows you to define pricing rules based on the specific characteristics of your products and services. This offers several key advantages. One, increased revenue. You can tailor pricing to individual customer needs and willingness to pay, capturing more revenue per deal. Two, improve customer satisfaction. Offer personalized pricing that aligns with customers' requirements, leading to happier and more loyal customers. Three, enhance competitiveness. Create more competitive offers by adjusting prices based on market conditions and competitor pricing. Four, automate pricing adjustments. This frees up your sales team to focus on building relationships and closing deals. And five, greater pricing accuracy. You can reduce errors and ensure consistent pricing across all channels. Let's go ahead and dive into how to build attribute-based pricing and revenue value. To begin, let's navigate to the attribute-based adjustments within Revenue Cloud. You can find it in the app launcher. From here, you can see if there are any existing attribute-based adjustments and create new ones. In this case, we're going to create a new attribute-based adjustment. We want this to be for the printer. So I'm going to choose the product here. You want to make sure it applies to the specific product selling model. This does allow you to have specific attribute based adjustments based on the product selling model. We also want to make sure that we choose the correct price adjustment schedule. So we're going to make sure we choose attribute based adjustment. And this allows you, in this case, we're going to be using the standard attribute based adjustment, but it's needed. You can create other price adjustment schedules for this adjustment type. We're going to do a, a percentage adjustment for this specific product. We're going to do a 10% adjustment and it's going to be effective starting the beginning of May. So we're going to kind of backdate that a little bit. Plus next. And this now allows you to choose the attributes for this printer. So in this case, we're going to choose the specific type of printer. And we can say when it equals laser. Once I save this, it's then going to create a few records. And so I'm going to go ahead and refresh this related list. You now see our new attribute based adjustment. We'll click into this. You'll see the values that we were setting previously. It's for the printer, standard attribute based adjustment, and the one time selling model. We can then see what the adjustment is. And then lastly, we can go to this attribute based adjustment rule. This attribute based adjustment rule will show us which attributes are going to affect the adjustment. So our attribute adjustment conditions here are if the printer attribute all the printer product equals laser. So this allows you to then again have multiple attributes affect a specific price. And this is easy to manage. Again, from here, we can quickly see the attributes for this printer and what it does. And a great little pop-up here, and we can see the percentage that is going to be applied and if it's effective for a certain period. Next, we're going to look at what does this look like during the quarter experience. Let's go ahead and test this in action. From a quote, we'll follow the standard process for adding a product. We'll come here to the hardware catalog. And this product is under accessories. Here is the printer product. We'll go ahead and configure it. 
we'll see that by default, it actually sets it to the laser printer type. And that's due to the product setup itself. You can see here that the one time price, or this is the list price, is one nine. If I go ahead and update this price, you will then see that our discount of 10% is applied. And so we get a one time total of 179.10. If I go ahead and save and exit, and navigate back to the quote, it's now processing and adding our line. We can then see the, again, the list price, sales price, and then our final net unit price. If I hover over this, you can see that we have attribute discount entries that are being applied. Our 10% of 1990 has been applied to give us the net unit price of seven, 179 and 10 cents. Again, this can be applied as an amount or an override value. This makes it easy to have specific values or specific attributes on the products set specific pricing for the customer. Thanks for watching. Do you have any more questions or want to learn more about Salesforce Revenue Cloud? Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos for Salesforce Revenue Cloud. We'll be back soon with more tips and tricks to help you maximize your revenue. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.